Okay, I've had a few people asking me for a walk around video of my Pelican Catch Mode 110. We'll start at the front. I added the uh, Anchor Wizard uh, drop down anchor. I do not have the uh, winching portion, I just have it tied off here um, and that works fine. It's just a three pound anchor. Um, up front, I have the cheap Walmart little just in case I'm out at night batteries. Here in Michigan, you don't have to have. Uh, the heavy-duty poles and, and lights, just some smaller marking lights. Um, in here, it's hard to get out. I have a 60-amp uh, Life PO4 uh, fly power battery uh, with a circuit breaker. Got it plugged into a side port that's run to the back. I'll show you that later. Garmin 73 CV with a scupper mount through haul. It's an ice model, which is nice. And it's nice and convenient because I fold this all over and it will hold it in place uh, pretty well. Let's see if I do this one handed. Um, so, not worried about it. I will also be tethering the fish finder to the side of the kayak just in case a little more security. We'll get that one one handed. It's a little tight. There we go. But it holds it down pretty good. That's how I normally run it. I have a folding net, which I run up underneath the catch paddle holder and lock it in the front here. Works pretty good. Easily accessed. Keep my foot pedals clear. Do you have the PVC riser that uh, I believe it was Remy designed up? I had some 3D printed ones. I just can't get them to work properly yet, and I don't want a permanent mount it yet. It's a Pelican control for the trolling motor. So I get both. Works pretty good. I had to make a plate for it underneath out of some cutting board to raise it up because um, it's got a like a pulley system underneath. I do keep paddles tied off on the side. I'm gonna make some permanent mounts for the back so they go further back to free that up. Uh, as a seat riser, my phone holder usually gets attached to that little cleat. My seat, I know people have had problems with this. I wire tied the very bottom so it keeps it from being able to flip backward very easy. I have not had a problem with it on the times I've been out. This wire here, Goes, I just have it wrapped around here. It comes back to my trolling motor for the release of the thing, of the tilt. So I pull on that and it will just tilt forward from forward. I got everything tied down so it's not gonna do it very well. My cart normally stores back here that's underneath here. It's got a crate attached into it and a couple fishing pole holders. So that will place underneath the seat here. And then this, I have a Plano kayak bag that will just sit right into it. It all locks down with the original strap here. Trolling motor is a Endura 40 pound, uh, not max version. Put a switch in here. It's got a wireless ESC in there, um, built into the control head. I ran the wires out the front, it goes to the wire that I ran to the front, all SAE plugs. It's more than enough for this 40 pound trolling motor. I did add this leash. It's uh, off of AliExpress, it was like three bucks shipped from China, but it's got enough pull that I can sit forward, lean forward, whatever, it's not gonna release, um, wired right into the ESC power switch. So if this is on, it will turn it off. Plug it back in, it'll turn the ESC back on. My steering control comes back here, 3D printed bracket. The wires are a little short on the one side, so it's not quite square as it would. If I could redo it, I would redo the wires, but it works. It's more cosmetic than anything. Control motor tilts up. Locks into place. Do use the three uh, eighths inch 
quick removing so I can remove that for travel. I did make this plate here out of half inch HD uh, PE cutting board from Sam's Club. 18 by 20 inch or 15 by 20 inch, I think it is, piece was like eight bucks. I made a bunch of different things. This and the um, control, hand control is all used out of that. Very cheap. Wireless controller is in my... So I got a wireless controller. Set this back down. Planning this right. So it beeps, it's controlled. Light power up and go all the way to full power. Reverse. I do have it set lower. I'm gonna change it back because the reverse seems a little low. I think I changed it to like 75%, I think I'm gonna go back to 100%. Um, but it has a cruise control feature, so I can step motor it to whatever speed I want, and it will stay that way until I either turn off the cruise or power off the remote. So it's kind of like a double safety feature because this is always attached to me in my life vest. So I believe that if this went in the water, it's gonna short out, which is gonna kill the battery or kill the trolling motor in addition to my leash. Eventually, I'm going to run a straight throttle uh, up to the hand piece or mount this. This may get mounted onto it like this, either with epoxy or whatnot, so that it's, it's st stable up here. That's pretty much all the mods I have at this point. I run four poles, two in the rod holders here and two in the rod holders that are on the kayak um, milk crate. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks.